I apologize for the poor quality of the video. Uh, it, you know, when you're videoing off of a monitor, it tends to get a wavy line. Uh, but what I'm doing right now is I'm going through my reference material. I've got several folders, and uh, this one is on uh, cantering uh, saddle. And uh, these were taken, I guess, in the 1890s or the early 1900s. I don't know which. Uh, what they did was uh, to get this. And it was the first time that they'd ever actually stop motioned a horse in movement. Um, because uh, up to now, they, uh, the artists uh, had no, nothing to go by uh, except what their vision gave them as far as how a horse moved. And this was really the first time horses were shot uh, with a camera. And there were multiple cameras set up along a track that this rider and the horse would run down. And as they went through, I guess they tripped a wire or a string or something that would click the camera. And, uh, and I'm sure it had a flash. So there are probably flashes going all the way down, and I mean not flash bulb type, I mean the flash pan type of, uh, this Shot. is a galloping horse. Same uh, photographer, it looks like the same rider. That's a real good position, it's been done a million times though. This foot's on the ground, that foot's on the ground. You'd still have to have something to support the back foot because the two legs on the front are just not strong enough. I like that one. I really like that one. But again, you have to have support. That's kind of neat looking. I mean, I could feign the front foot as being on the ground even though it isn't. Uh, I could support it with a, you know, some clay coming up to the bottom of the hoof in a way that the Hoof looks like it's off the ground, but it isn't. Um, that's a real good position. That's, that's actually a really good position right there. All right, I think, I've, uh, and that's, of course, is the uh, anatomy drawings of the horse. You need to know what the bottom of the horse looks like when you're a sculptor, as well as the top of the horse, because uh, you're sculpting it in the round. It's un not like painting. You can't get away with just a profile of the horse. You have to be able to sculpt it completely in the round and uh, just some of the pictures I've got for and then these are actual photographs of horses all right that's gonna be it for this part now well, it's my point of picking out uh, the exact uh, positioning of the horse and then I'll get started that right now okay I just got back from uh, True Value and uh, the studio and I got a few things that I needed to get, like glue. Um, also cut a piece of wood. I've got my piece of wood. Um, I've got uh, a thing. What I'm thinking of doing is having this horse coming down a hillside. And I'm going to use this piece of wood as a, as a mount for the, the uh, horse. Um, let me get my... That's the idea right now. I don't know if I'll actually do it, but right now I'm just going to get this baseboard that I'm using for the uh, sculpture set up. Put my uh, wooden dowel someplace. And uh, let's see if this is going to work. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to uh, get my bag of screws out of the way. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just do the horse, uh, and I think I'm going to have a mountain man on it, uh, and it's, he's going lickety-split down a mountainside. And uh, the title, I'm thinking of calling it uh, Rapid Descent. Uh, which is self-explanatory, but... Alright, I've uh, just got my own phone again. 
I'm um, going to have to leave uh, again. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, at least get this anchored down. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just going blindly here. I'm just letting... Uh, I don't know where it comes from. I'm just something in me tells me to do this, and I'm doing it. There we go. Now we'll turn this. I'm going to attempt to uh, drill a hole for the, uh, the wooden dowel. I guess the key is not to give up. Alright, that's the angle I want right there. So now I just tape it. By uh, starting like that and then going over the uh, dowel, or over the back of the armature, around the dowel. 
and back over the armature. And that will anchor it to the armature itself. And then once I start putting clay on it, it'll uh, pretty much anchor itself. I'm going to run some glue just to anchor the uh, piece of wood in there even better. Alright, that's going to be it for today, and I'm started. Still don't know how I'm going to have the mountain man, or the cowboy, or the Indian on the horse. <laughs> but whatever I decide, it'll be, a, it'll be the way it is. It's got a good angle to it. I'll work all the movement out as I work on it, and uh, I guess it would help if I sketch things out ahead of time, but sometimes I see things in my head much better than I do on paper, so for now I'm just going to let this sit like this, uh, and then Monday um, I'll start work putting clay on it.